Hello everybody, it's John Pace and today we're doing a test of HLG HDR video. If you're watching this on a standard uh, display, the results will look really grayed out. Um, we're going to be uh, uploading this in black and white because I don't have an HDR monitor so I can't do any corrections for the skin tones. Uh, this is just a test of the exposure. Um, we're using the Sony 35mm f1.8. Uh, I recently got it, did some tests, and uh, the sharpness was okay, but to really uh, see what a lens is capable of, I think you really have to watch uh, the uh, video on an HDR monitor. It's uh, crisper looking, it also has a greater dynamic range, so it's going to make the lens look uh, significantly better. On an SDR display, you typically, even though your, your camera may be shooting 12 or 13 stops of dynamic range, when you watch on an SDR monitor, you're only seeing about six stops. On a HDR display, on today's displays, uh, you typically get around 10 stops of dynamic range, so that's a four stop increase. Also, the images look crisper because the HDR displays like the LG OLED that I own um, have a higher local contrast, so that in, uh, increases the perception of uh, sharpness or clarity in the image. Now, how are we exposing for this? Um, using uh, Gerald Undone's uh, excellent video that he just recently uploaded about how to expose for HLG for SDR delivery using an A7 III camera. Uh, he determined that the, uh, like an average skin tone, uh, which I'm going to say is the uh, third square from the bottom in the skin tone uh, line here, um, it's 66%. Uh, so uh, I'm not fair skinned, so I'd say I'm probably about an average skin tone, uh, maybe a little dark, I'm not really sure. Um, so we're using that as our base uh, for the low setting on the Sony. So we set that uh, C2 low setting, 66%. And then to confirm the exposure, we went ahead and uh, checked the uh, white uh, on the uh, X-ray color checker. And I've got that set on the low setting on C2 for 95. Um, so when I went and checked the highlights, I had to reduce the exposure by one third of a stop in order to maintain detail in the highlights according to, um, according to the X-ray color checker. So we'll see how that looks. So anyhow, what we're looking for is just to see, number one, uh, we're gonna uh, check how th those exposure figures uh, that Gerald Undone uh, got for uh, HLG converted to SDR how they translate when we're shooting uh, HLG for HDR delivery to YouTube. And we're also uh, gonna see how well the lens itself performs. Uh, so right now we're shooting at um, ISO 400, I believe, um, uh, aperture of F4 at a 60th of a second. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how the results look. If you like this video, please remember to give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next episode.